Hi there. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for your support by watching this video. My name is Lucia Ejo and on this channel I talk about health, lifestyle and random things. Terms random stars yes so make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification button if you like what you see so that you don't miss out on anything okay <sighs> so guys guess what Woo, i can see i'm not wearing contacts i haven't worn my glasses in like two and a half weeks it's like a miracle <laughs> yes i was nearsighted short-sighted whatever and I had laser corrective eye surgery done last month and I'd like to share my story for people considering the procedure and share some more information and some tips too and just give you a, my own perspective of the whole thing now notice how I said laser corrective eye surgery yeah because there are corrective eye surgeries that do not involve lasers and the common laser eye surgeries are LASIK um, which means laser assisted in situ keratomyelosis and PRK, photorefractive keratectomy. So the other procedures are either like a variation or further advancement of these two laser surgeries, or they either don't involve laser at all. Now let's just be nerdy for a bit and I would like to give you a bit of background. So the reason why we're able to see is because light is refracting or bending through the cornea and lens to focus on our retina. So when light bends through your eyes and places the object in front of the retina, it means that you're nearsighted, you can't see things that are too far. You're short-sighted, it's called myopia. For long-sighted people, the object is placed behind the retina and for people with astigmatism whether near or far the object is always blurry so that's just because of how light is being refracted through our eyes now these refractive errors could be as a result of the length of our eyeball the shape of our cornea or the aging of the lens now what these laser surgeries do is they focus on reshaping the cornea right so that's why they're different forms of eye sight corrective surgery. Some will work on the lens, some will work on the eyeball, and lasers work on the cornea. Now, I don't know too much about the others, I'm just gonna talk about laser surgeries. Now, laser surgeries only correct nearsightedness, farsightedness, and astigmatism. It wouldn't correct uh, presbyopia, which is when you can't read anything as close and that usually occurs as you age so our daddies and our mummies and our grandparents yes that's what they usually have there are surgeries for that lasik and prk only focus on these three eye defects and that's why it's actually important for you to go find out if you are actually a good candidate because sometimes the problem might not be your cornea it might be your lens it might be your eyeball so don't fret, don't waste your energy being afraid of a surgery that you don't even know if you qualify for. So go out there and get your free consultation. Usually it's just free. Anybody that tells you to pay for consultation, run far away. Just keep running. Just go the other way. Mm, it's not for you, okay? Because it's free. So I had PRK done, not LASIK. And here's the difference. Now with LASIK, LASIK involves creating a flap of the outer layer of your cornea in order for the laser to access the underlying tissue. But with PRK, there's no flap unlike LASIK. A few fine layers of the cornea epithelium is removed with a tiny brush and then the laser does its thing and then they cover your cornea back with this soft contact lens and you're good to go. Both procedures are very successful, so you don't have to be worried about that. Now, the difference again in pros and cons for LASIK is with LASIK, your eyes will heal faster. Very few days after your surgery, you're good to go. There are no stitches or bandages required because after they take out the flap, they just cover it back and your eyes, it will just, it's a lot faster. Then you really don't need that many follow-up appointments. The cons of LASIK are, there's a risk of complication from the flap. It's not recommended for everyone. So if your, your cornea is too thin, it might not be a good procedure for you because it does need a substantial amount of that flap, right? But with PRK, that's not a problem. And then with that, with LASIK also, there's a higher chance of dry eyes. But with PRK, there's no flap, there's no 
complication about with the flap either um, there's less possibility of having dry eyes and there's a small chance of long-term complications now the cons of PRK it takes a long time to heal oh my gosh like the first week and a half I was like hey Chineg, I've wasted my money hmm, I cannot see it's not clear because my eyes my eyesight was dancing around like I had to blink you know when you feel like there's something in your eye and I had to blink so many times it was now later I was like let me go and read that thing again I'm like oh they said it would take a long time but as I'm talking to you now it's just been it's exactly two weeks after my surgery and it's very sharp although let me see it is ah no it's very sharp it's actually sharp <laughs> i can see very i can see clearly now the rain is gone. the rain is actually gone another con with prk is that you feel a lot more discomfort after the surgery you need more appointments follow-up appointments because you have to make sure it just takes a longer time to heal so here's my story hmm sometime last year i was like oh my gosh i want to go get lasik or have corrective eye surgery but i was broke you know so i didn't have any money but i was like okay no problem this year i'll you know try to go do it so one day i was just like i think i'm ready for the surgery and i just googled um and that's another thing if you check online please make sure that the doctor you're choosing has very good ratings my doctor had a five star rating in dallas here yeah, he's the name of his clinic is uh the m lasik center his name is dr mazahari and he majors in PRK procedure and he, he has his own patent. I think he has even gone above and beyond the regular PRK and he just calls his own flapless LASIK. Like it's as effective as LASIK, only that he doesn't cut your cornea. He's the only one who has that patent apparently. Anyways, so I went to see him and we did the eye measurements, he did everything and then he said you wouldn't actually be a good candidate for the regular LASIK and I was like, oh, okay, he said because there's something in my eye, wanting, wanting, they have one genetic something, something, I was like, ah, are you sure you're not trying to boo boo me? But it worked out well because I don't think I was ready for any cutting of any cornea, <laughs> but anyways, so after that he said you know mm, this is the amount it was going to be like five thousand dollars and then he took off discounts because i had vsp which is our vision um insurance and then i had health insurance as well so it came down to thirty six hundred um, dollars at the end of the day which i paid for with my credit card thank you very much if you have a hsa health savings account you can also use that to pay for it just a tip so that's what i'm also going to use to pay for it if you're in the us so consultation was free he did his measurements and he said you know whenever you're ready you come back to do a test and you have to now do the surgery within six months of that test so i went back after a few weeks or i think a month after i went back and i said i'm ready to do the test and so i got the test done um they dilated my eye oh gosh i hate that dilation thing they dilated my eyes they took pictures of it and did everything we needed to do just to make sure that i was ready and he had his measurements and everything and so the day of the surgery came god 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 bless kokori for me i cannot even thank her enough like she was she was amazing amazing at first i was forming hard guy hey no i'll go home <laughs> my dear after the surgery i needed help and I, I didn't even stay in my house but anyways so the day of the surgery um christine went with me and then i went into the back they did another measurement that morning just to make sure everything was fine the doctor came in and he and if you go to the um, I doctor usually they you know how they change the lens to see which one is clearer so we did that now just at that point here yeah, I was just like just do this thing let me just be going so they changed the lenses to ask me which one was clearer but it's not a subjective that I don't know why he did that I, I think it's just part of the procedure because really there's a machine that takes the measurement so you cannot make it they can't make a mistake you get what I mean because it's very Th those lenses are very subjective if you know what i mean and then we went inside to do the laser surgery so i laid down on the bench and i knew that there was a a something yellow was on the ceiling it was a smiley but i couldn't really see it i was like yeah that's a smiley a yellow big smiley 
push me under the laser and then he dropped um, anesthetics into my eyes and it just numbed my eyes like I was like oh what's happening I don't even know I don't even know if I could even move it but anyways so the laser was this just this red dot that I kept he just he said just keep looking at that and I did then he now clamped my eyes open <sighs> that part was very it was it was not painful it was just uncomfortable you know how it just felt weird so he clamped my eyeballs open then he covered one and then he took his brush remember for prk there's a thin layer of epithelial cells removed so that's why he just took a little brush and brushed my eyeball and it was weird it looked like i was looking through a glass that they were cleaning like they were cleaning a glass in front of me but it wasn't touching me i couldn't feel a thing it was so weird but anyway he I was like he was brushing i was like what are you doing i didn't feel anything and that was it and then he said just look at the red dot and the laser did his thing pew, 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 for like <laughs> for like five seconds and we were done with that eye and then he did the same thing with the other eye and then put eye drops so whenever he was done he placed a soft contact lens over my eyes um and then did the same for the other and he pushed me back out the procedure took <laughs> maybe 10 minutes literally if not less quite frankly it was very very fast and so when he pushed me under right above me it said smile if you can see this and i was like oh i can see and then the next second it just went blur and i was like uh oh you know when it's like in, like uh, it was it was weird but it was really really good i was like oh my gosh i can see i was in pain but i was not in pain so i started laughing like you know when you hit your elbow <laughs> Just thinking about it now, it's funny. When you hit your elbow, it's like it hurts, but it's 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 sweet pain, but it's funny. That's how I was, I was just laughing. He's like, "What's funny?" I'm like, I don't know. My eyes were like heavy. I was just very tired, and so they placed, they gave me these goggles um to wear for twenty for forty eight hours, um and then I was supposed to wear sunglasses whenever I was outside. I didn't even go anywhere. Again, thanks to Coco Rich, she was there, uh, Christine was there, because whatever they started telling me how to put the eye drops, I zoned out. I was just like, I need to go home. So she took all the notes, asked all the questions. Ah, nurse Christine, thank you very much. So she took, she asked all the questions just to make sure that she had it right, which is very, she was very, very sweet. Um, and so we went home and Alexa was our friend because I had um, eye drops every hour and eye drops every four hours, different kinds. So Alexa would remind us, Christine, um, this is your reminder, eye drops every hour. <laughs> and then we literally started saying it with Alexa whenever she would say it. And then, you know, Christine would wake me up, not wake me up, but she will come and put the eye drops while I'm trying to sleep because I was really, really, really tired first night was rough Woo! you know when i don't know if you've ever worn contacts and then you have something under it that's exactly how it felt it was painful but not painful because the eyes really don't hurt per se they just make you uncomfortable like i was so uncomfortable i couldn't like barely open my eyes i didn't want to open my eyes so the next day i had a follow-up appointment the next day i went the doctor said it was normal and then he said you know go back and then we'll take out your contacts on monday because i had the surgery on thursday had a follow-up on friday and then i rested saturday by saturday i started to feel better it wasn't as bad but it was not clear at all i mean i could see but it was not sharp by monday i went in and then they took out my contacts and ever since then i've been healing so now one thing to note before my surgery my doctor recommended eating crushed flaxseed daily because it helps with stabilizing your eyes these are things you can buy on your own and just add to your diet to be to be healthier and then vitamin c as well he asked me to take 2000 milligrams but um over the counter is 100 uh 1000 milligrams so you don't have to take 2000 milligrams please don't take any medication without asking your doctors first but you can add vi vi um, vitamin c to your to your daily supplements and then he also said i should take um b complex and then b2 but b2 he said to take for only two months because you don't need too much of it so those were the things i was taking before 
surgery and even now and and i think i will continue to take those things because why not they're over the counter they don't hurt you know and so yeah after surgery i was just i continued my eye drops i couldn't really see clearly and then um yeah just this week literally was when i noticed that one day it was just clear you know and it's like oh that's that's how it feels and they said yes it will take like three weeks to be very sharp but that is with prk with lasik it's a lot faster within a week or so if you've not watched um cheesy duru's video you should because she explained she had her own surgery done as well so make sure you watch it to, to compare because lasik is different from prk although they both use laser my eyesight was not clear but it has now become clear i mean i feel like i'm a little i'm a, a lot more sensitive to light like sunlight like when i go out i feel that i'm like okay so i will always wear my um sunglasses um what else um lasik i don't know if it's not really covered by insurance most lasik providers are like independent and so they will give you discounts that's why you can find a discount for lasik on groupon so do your research make sure that your doctor has very good reviews online because that's very important um and just be ready i mean it's not it's not it wasn't a terrible procedure at all like it to me it was worth it people say oh yeah you only have it for you only have the good eyesight for 10 years well i will enjoy the 10 years and in 10 years if i need another follow-up surgery i'll do it for three thousand dollars are you kidding that's it's not that much money you know if it was like 20 grand I'm like oh, okay it better last for 50 years you know but it's just 3k 10 years 15 years is a good time to just enjoy not carrying glasses and having them slide down on your face and keep doing that keep doing that now if i want to wear glasses it's because of fashion yes thank you <laughs> i might some people say oh they want to do one eye and check it out <laughs> now have you ever had your glasses break before and you have one eye intact and one not intact how did it feel or you wear contacts and then you don't wear on the other eye just do that for some time and see how it because that's how it's gonna feel one eye is gonna be very good and the other eye is gonna be very bad and you're gonna be very uncomfortable so I, I don't like it like if I cannot wear one lens and not have the other one be good so except one eye is really good and one eye is really bad then you will just i don't know it would just be uncomfortable in my opinion but you can try it and i don't really think that any doctor would agree to do one eye and let you go home and come back and decide if you want to do the other eye just do both eyes and save yourself distress and yes go check it out go get consultation it's not that bad i promise you it's not and I was not going to be a good candidate for LASIK. If you go to LASIK and they say, well, you're not a good candidate, look for a doctor that does PRK. There are a lot of doctors, there are a lot of options. Um, I hope I answered all the questions. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. And yes, if you've had LASIK done, tell me what you think. Like, are you happy with your results? Which one did you have done? Was it LASIK or was it PRK or something else? Because there's a lot, there are actually quite a number of corrective eye surgeries out there. Let me know if this video was helpful and if it has changed your mind. I promise you it's not a bad surgery. It's actually worth it and you'll be grateful that you did it because I can see. I, I can see. I've not seen properly since I was in primary three. So yes, this is a miracle for me and I will bask in it and enjoy it and just live, you know. So yeah, if you can afford it, please consider it. All right, I have to go. I feel like I've talked forever. So... Thank you very much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!